This episode of TechCrunch Minute is brought to you by Affinity, the relationship intelligence platform for dealmakers. Apple customers with mild or moderate hearing loss will soon be able to use the latest models of the AirPods Pro as hearing aids. During last week's Glow Time event, in addition to announcing the whole iPhone 16 lineup, Apple also said that the next big update to its mobile software, iOS 18, will include a feature that allows you to use AirPods as hearing aids. However, Apple was still waiting on approval from the FDA. That approval was announced just a couple days later. For context, the FDA set the stage for all this back in 2022, when it announced that it would allow the sale and purchase of hearing aids without a prescription. And when it announced Apple's approval, the FDA described this as the first over-the-counter hearing aid software. Michelle Tarver, who's the acting director of the FDA's Center for Devices and Radiological Health, said that making these capabilities available in a widely used consumer product is, quote, another step that advances the availability, accessibility, and acceptability of hearing support for adults with perceived mild to moderate hearing loss. Again, this feature won't be available to folks with standard AirPods like the ones I'm wearing now. Instead, you need the company's most premium earbuds, the AirPods Pro 2, because the feature takes advantage of the Pro's passive noise cancellation and the H2 chip. TechCrunch's Brian Heater actually got to try an incomplete version of the feature last week. Apparently, it starts off with a five-minute test that assesses your hearing. If your hearing is fine, the hearing aid feature won't be activated for you. On the other hand, if you're diagnosed with severe or profound hearing loss, Apple will recommend that you see a hearing specialist instead. But if you're in between and you're diagnosed with mild to moderate hearing loss, then Apple will build a custom sound profile for you, which can adjust different sound frequency levels, for example, amplifying the sound of the human voice. Brian pointed out that another Apple accessibility feature, namely the Apple Watch's assistive touch, eventually became the foundation for features that were offered to consumers more broadly. So it's possible, not announced, not guaranteed, but possible that Apple will make similar custom sound profiles available to all users in the future. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.